If you ever wondered what Google Colab is all about, this is the video for you. You know, Google Colab is a great platform for doing data science and machine learning. However, if you learn in Python, Google Colab is an excellent platform. You're going to learn everything there is to know to get started using Google Colab. This is Google Colab Tutorial for Beginners, Part 1. Google Colab is an awesome, free web-based Jupyter Notebooks platform. You can write and share Python code, text, audio, image, video, tables, and plots for data visualization. And the best thing for Python beginners is that you don't need to download or install anything to get started. Well, the first thing I'm going to show you in this tutorial is how to get to Colab. I'm going to open up my browser. I'm going to type in Google Colab. I'm going to click on this first link that appears. And this is the first page you will see once you reach Colab. There's a bunch of introductory information about Colab, what it is, what it does, what you can do with it. You should read it. And on this left hand side, it shows a table of contents with a little focus on data science and machine learning. But the most important thing I want to show you in this page is that is this blue button right here, sign in. You should sign in before you start using Colab because the notebooks you use in Colab, they are saved into your drive, into your Google Drive. So you need to be signed into your account. So I'm going to go through the motion so you see what you're going to see as far as the steps. Click on sign in. And you put my email address and my password. It's going to ask for a two-step verification for me. Okay. And finally, this is the first page you're going to see. This little box with this orange header over here. There's several tabs, examples, recent, Google Drive, GitHub, and upload. So currently we are on the recent tab. And it's basically a notebook that gives you introductory information about Colab. You also can see examples of what you can do with Colab, including the markdown guide, which is the language you're going to be using to format text inside Colab. Your Google Drive, so all your notebooks will be saved here. Access to GitHub, and so you can upload files. But what I usually do when I get here, I click on New Notebook. So I'm going to click it so you can see. And this is what you're going to see when you open your first notebook. It's a blank notebook. We have one cell highlighted. It's a cold cell. You can tell it's a cold cell because it's a, gray, it's a little grayish and it has a display arrow on the left hand side here and it has a numbered line already inside. So this is what you will see. However, I have prepared a notebook for this lesson. So I'm gonna bring you to that notebook so you can follow along. It is, this is the uh, lesson that I prepared for you. Colab tutorial for beginners. Everything is collapsed right now, but each single topic I'm going to be covering is numbered from 1 to 13. And also, I will have a special bonus topic at the end as well. The first thing I want to do is, well, first of all, I'm going to be following this here as my itinerary. Okay, so number one is to show you how to get around this platform. So basically you have a left hand side panel over here that right now it's a little, it's collapsed. So you can't see much. So all you can see, it's a few icons. Okay. We're going to be operating a lot in this panel over here. We have the top menu. You're going to find things you usually find in menus like, you know, you can create a new notebook. You can open a notebook. You can upload a notebook, rename it, move it, move to trash, save it you can download it 
in print a copy. So there's a bunch of stuff you can do just from the top menu. Under edit, you can select cells, you can cut cells, cut a copy a cell, you can paste, delete cells, find and replace, find next, and all those sort of things you usually see under edit menus. Under view, you got to see a table of contents, notebook, info, all these things. So you can just pretty much customize notebook to uh, have to appear the way you prefer it to appear. Under insert, you can insert a code cell, you can insert a text cell, you can insert a section header cell, scratch code cell, or code snippets. Under runtime, you can run all the cells. You, uh, you can interrupt execution of the cells. You can restart runtime. And um, you should check all the other ones uh, as, as you have time. I'm not going to cover every single thing about Colab since this is an introductory tutorial for beginners, but I want to show you the most important things to get you started, to get you up and running as quickly as possible. If you're enjoying the content of this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on my next videos. And stick around because at the end of this series, I'm going to show you some very cool data visualization techniques. Until then. On the tools, you got the command palette settings, some keyboard shortcuts, and if you have any questions or you get stuck, you know, there's a frequently asked questions, and if everything else fails, I can just research online. I'm sure you're going to find the answer that you're looking for. So that's the top menu. <clears throat> on the right-hand side, we have the ability to write a comment on this notebook. You have the ability to share it, and you can access settings uh, here as well, and that's pretty much it on the right hand side here that I want to point out to you. But then inside we have these, uh, you can say those are buttons, headers, or those are tabs, but you know, that's one for inserting code and one for inserting text. And that's pretty much what we're going to be doing the most here in this notebook. It's either inserting a cell to write code in or a cell to write text in. Okay. So let's start by, on number two here, how to write and run Python code. So I'm going to start by highlighting this number two because that's, I want to insert a cell right beneath it. So I highlight this one first by clicking on it. And then I come up here and click on insert code. So I'm going to insert a code cell. As you can see, this code cell looks just like the other one on the other notebook. Grayish with the play arrow over here and a number line. I'm going to write what most people write as a first program in any language, which is hello world and Python. To run this code, all I have to do is suppress this little arrow here on the left hand side. That's your play button, so to speak. You click on it once, and then what you see right below is the output of that code that was just run, hello world. Obviously, you can do much more than just uh, Hello World. I'm going to insert another code cell here. I'm going to write, I'm going to declare a variable name. I'm going to assign the name Bob to this variable. I'm going to create another variable called last name. I'm going to assign the value Smith. And um, I'm going to print name and last name and I'm going to run this cell so it assigned the value Bob to first name the value Smith to last name and it printed uh, the, the full name Bob Smith as an output over here you can also as you can do in any other Python uh, interpreter you can just write a, a function so we're going to write a function called greet. It's going to take a name. And then it's going to print the following. It's an F string that's going to contain the following words. Uh, hi, comma, brackets. I'm going to write, name. I'm going to write the name of the variable name. And I'm going to say... How are you doing? 
question mark. And I'm going to make sure that this name is capitalized once it's passed in. Like that. And I'm going to run the cell just to make sure there's no error. It's not going to do anything at this point because I haven't called this function, but I want to make sure that there's no errors. Okay, there's none. I'm going to insert another code cell just beneath it. Oh, by the way, if you insert a cell at a location that you don't want to, you can just move that cell up or down to suit your needs, just like, like that. All right, so I'm going to call this function greet. First, I'm going to call this function passing the same variable that I defined earlier. Okay, so I'm going to open up parentheses and pass in name. And I'm going to call the function. And it does say as an output, hi, Bob. How are you doing? It says, hi, Bob, because Bob is a value that I had assigned to this variable earlier on. But I can also use this function with a different name. I can just say, Matt, and run the function. It's going to print, hi, Matt. How are you doing? This video is part of a six-part tutorial on Google Colab. So to get the most out of this tutorial, Make sure to watch the entire series. That's it for writing code. Obviously, there's more to code than just a few lines of code that I just showed you here. But this is an introductory tutorial. I just want to show you the basics to keep things nice and simple.